Lil' Kim had a rough start when her music career just began to rise. As a famous face in the hip-hop industry and a member of Junior Mafia, an East Coast rap gourd, she found herself involved in a quite serious crime. Back in 2001, there was a shooting between Kim's entourage and the one of rival rap group Capone and Noriaga near the Hot 97 radio station in Manhattan, New York. The entire fiasco was caused by some lyrics in one of the songs of Capone and Noriaga that didn't bode well with Lil' Kim. As chaos ensued, the police were informed. So naturally, they wanted some information about the perpetrators to solve the case. But Lil' Kim and her crew decided to stick together. They claimed they didn't see anything and no one from their side was involved in the shooting. That was the story and they were sticking to it. But here's where things got a little bit complicated. The entire shooting was captured on a surveillance camera, which was a bad break for Lil' Kim because it showed she and her crew were lying. When the CCTV footage came out, people were shocked. Lil' Kim, who had made herself a name in the music world, was now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Fans were divided. Some argued that she was just protecting her team, while others considered her actions to be criminal. Legal experts saw this as a clear case of perjury and obstruction of justice. The case went to court in 2005, almost four years later, and Lil' Kim defended herself saying that she was in shock and didn't remember the details correctly. But the surveillance camera footage was undeniable. Lil' Kim's former manager, Damian Butler, and her bodyguard, Sweef Jackson, admitted that they were there and participated in the shooting. But it wasn't looking good for the rap star. After a two-week trial and over two days of jury deliberation, she was said to be guilty of perjury and conspiracy. The conviction meant that Lil' Kim was facing serious jail time. In July 2005, she got a sentence of one year and a day in prison, fined $50,000, and had to serve three years of probation on release. This was a massive blow, not just for her career, but her reputation as well. She admitted that she had lied and apologized, claiming that she felt she had no choice but to protect the people she had considered her friends. While in prison, she kept herself busy and productive, even managing to complete her fourth album, The Naked Truth, which she released while still behind bars. The critics applauded her work and it snagged a five mic rating from the source, making her the first and only female rapper to get this accolade. The perjury conviction of Lil' Kim will always be a part of her legacy, a grim reminder of the tough world of the music industry. But it's also a tale of resilience, of making the best out of adverse situations, and not letting the past mistakes define one's future. Despite the setbacks, she came back stronger and continued to contribute to the music world, proving that we all have the capacity to turn things around.